Hi, it's Brendan here and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit at the moment about coach development questions and challenges. And this is our coach development series and this question has been coming quite a lot. Maybe people who are applying to our mentorship process and maybe people who actually have been in the industry for and the profession for quite a while and hasn't worked for them, hasn't clicked in for some one or another reason. So. The question is really very simple, is how do you get to work with elite athletes? And I've been very fortunate to have had some great experiences with professional sport and elite sport for many, many years. And I think what I would summarise it as is, is, a, is this combination of, of three factors. And in fact, we call this the three pillars of development on our mentorship pro programme. So the first pillar is your coaching development. You must be a good coach, not a good coach, you must be a fantastic coach. So you really do have to be able to get results. And I do use the word coach strongly here as well. You are a part of a process of development. You're in a partnership with your athlete or your clients. And the way to view that is very much about guiding them and it's about correcting their course when they do veer off that course. So it's a coaching process. You're not just telling them what to do, you're actually coaching them and guiding them and taking them forward in that way. So your coach development, you've got to be a fantastic coach first and foremost. So our mentorship is about that, it's to help, it's to help you be a fantastic coach, but in a sense you've got to be out there, you've got to absolutely accept that you have to improve all the time, keep getting better as a coach and learn from the best out there. The second pillar is your what we call your personal development pillar and that is what you want to do and why you want to do it. So the clearer you can get, the more clarity you can get on what it is you want to do. So in this case, work with elite athletes, the, the more chance you've got of that happening because it's, it's, it's a tough competitive industry and nobody's just going to say, here you go, here, come work with all these elite athletes right here. You've got to make that happen. You've got to really drive forward and, and take control of your own destiny. And by doing that, there's going to be distractions, there's going to be hard times, it's going to be easy to fall off the path. So the clearer you can be in your own mind, the more chance you've got of achieving that because you know you've got that light right there that you're trying to get to. And why you want to do it is really important as well. Is it just a personal fulfilment opportunity for you? Is it something that you really feel is going to complete you as a person? You know, really question yourself and challenge yourself on why you want to do that. And then the final pillar is what we call your career or your business development pillar. So if we assume for a second that you are a fantastic coach, and I'm sure you are when you're listening into this, we get some great coaches in our mentorship and there's lots of great coaches out there. But there's a lot of great coaches that are not working with elite athletes and they would love to be. And I don't know, you might be one of those people, um, but what we've found is that being a great coach is the starting point you now have to address your business and your career development. And that's a mindset shift. It's actually thinking, you know, I need to know how to play the game. I need to understand the rules of the game. So your business and career development is how you develop yourself into that person who is working with elite athletes. So do you have a great network of coaches around you that you can call up and say, can I come and look at what you're doing with this sport or this sport? Do you have mentors, people who can open doors for you, people who can introduce you to people? That is critical when it comes to getting somewhere fast with elite athletes. And finally, on this business and career development pillar, I would say, are you visible? Are you out there? And if we say we need somebody to work with golf, like I get asked a lot about, opportunities internationally and in the UK and people ask for 
my opinion on jobs and I know all our other mentors get the same kind of information and, and queries. Are we going to think of you straight away as somebody who we can rely on, who's a great coach, but is also just visible and present? So are you out there? Are you networking? Are you getting in the mix with people? Are you going to the right events? Are you communicating in the right way? And really, are you a good person, that somebody we, that you can get on with? And all those things, I know they're quite soft skills. They're very sometimes seen as, as we don't want to embrace that. Well, let me tell you right now, you must embrace them if your goal is to work with elite athletes. So those are the three pillars of the development. You've got your coaching development, your personal development, and your business and career development. You've got to keep improving in all those three areas. You've got to keep becoming a better coach, keep becoming a better person, and keep improving and, and developing your network and your, your business and your visibility. That's another question answered on this coach development series. I'll be back with another one very soon.